Welcome, welcome, welcome folks to another video right here on Phoenix Poptastic. I'm Jason. Thank you guys for watching here today on this wonderful Saturday. I went to a lot of places this week, so this video will have clips from different days from, you know, the beginning of the week till the end of the week. Went to quite a few Targets, found a lot of the Target Con 2022 pops. Those seem to be pretty much in stock everywhere. Also did a GameStop, I believe. I did a Hot Topic and some Walmarts, maybe just one Walmart, I don't remember. It's been a long week, so let's get right into it and let the collecting begin. We're here at Target. So first thing here, guys, they have this little inner end cap or middle aisle thing. It's got a bunch of the pens and some of the Batmobiles and Oswald Cobble Pot here. They got some of these Hot Wheels, which are pretty, pretty cool. I was gonna say badass, but you know, whatever. Selena Kyle on motorcycle as well, and the 10 inch. All right, let's see what they have back here. Ooh, they have the Penguin Art Series from Target Con. See, does it look okay? It's kind of weird. It's got penguins all over it. Kind of weird. Has some of the Valentine's Day Mandalorians. Ooh, they have it. They have it. It is the Target Con Glow in the Dark Elvira. That shirt is so cool. I like that. They also do have the uh, He Man on Battle Cat Flocked. Becky Lynch Two Belts. That's really cool. Eddie Van Halen. I'm finding a lot of cool pops in here. This is really cool. Let's see here. Cobb Vanth. There's the Bruce Wayne. Target exclusive. There's another Eddie Van Halen. Uh, Magic Johnson from Target Con. So it seems like a week or two after Target Con, we find a whole bunch more. A bunch of these Boba Fett's from Target Con. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything rarer than those. It was cool to find that though, even though I wouldn't buy one. Um, they have the Penguin ones. They do have the Joker as well. And this is probably the only one that I think is probably the coolest out of the three. But I'm only collecting Batman as far as art series right now. Some of the Groku using Force, um, Madam Web, some of the Spider-Man ones, some of the Harry Potters. Let's see some of the big old gold things back there. I'm not sure if there's Chase. I'm not really interested in those unless they're Rock series. They do some have some new pens, WandaVision and Star Wars. Looking at the McFarlane stuff here, guys, I noticed they did have one of these 12 inch statues of the black uh, Batman. I did get the red one, check out the video right here where I did a video on that guy. But this one is really, really cool. I'm not gonna pick it up today, but I thought it was cool. And they still have a lot of these gold label hazmat suit ones with the light up bat symbol too. So. Yeah, pretty cool. So I did this whole segment on the evil and pop and tea thing and whole, recorded this whole thing. And of course, you know, my microphone didn't work and the cord was, I don't know, I had to get a new cord and now it works just fine. But it wasn't working when I first recorded it. So I'm gonna show you again here, the evil and glow in the dark Funko Pop that I got from the pop and tea combo. It's very, very cool. I did have the common and I got rid of that because they came out with this one. So I figured why not have the glow in the dark, which would be better from Target Con 2022. And I also got the t-shirt that came with it. It's got Trap Jaw, it's got, you know, Beast Man and all the good characters on it. And it's, you know, what does it say? Evil Warriors of Snake Mountain. I really, really dig this shirt. I think it's really, really awesome. So that was my pickup from Target. So we're here at the outdoor uh, mall area where there's GameStop, there's Hot Topic. Target way off there in the distance. But let's go see what Hot Topic has. So here are the pops. They do have this uh, Ghost Opus Epin... I can never pronounce that. And then they have a single pop there. They have some of the Witcher pops there. Some bombshells and that new Trix box in a box pop. Otherwise, there's not really much else, guys. Pretty bare. Pretty freaking bare. Well, as I figured, that Hot Topic didn't have much of anything. Nothing really new, which is pretty normal for that Hot Topic. They don't usually carry a whole bunch of new stuff. They get the new stuff and then they sell out and they don't get anything else. They don't hold stock very well. GameStop's next. All right, guys, so they have a Riley and Jonesy two pack I've never seen before. Some of the Deadpool bucket list boxes, um, Oswald Cobble Pots, and Marines. Um, nothing really new down there. Um, they do have the new DX Shawn Michaels. Does he have a pen? He does have a little NWO something pen. This is Survivor Series. That's what it is, Survivor Series. 
Angela Martin. Um, let's see here, Fire Force. Looks like there's another Shawn Michaels, which I was about to make fall over, so I had to catch that. They do have the five pack Star Wars. Um, a couple of DC's boxes. Shredder. Halo. I got some cool 10 inches, which is really cool. But all I'm really seeing. So not bad, pretty decent in there. They had quite a few cool 10 inches. They had a couple 10 inch shredders in there. So if you're looking for that, Desert Ridge GameStop has some 10 inch shredders. And they had like the Halo in there. They had the DX Shawn Michaels, which is pretty cool. I'm trying to cross the street here. And also the Angela Martin, which was interesting to see in there. So I am gonna head over here to this Target over here and who knows where else this video will bring us to today. All right, so we're in the area. Looks like they got a bunch of stuff shoved over here. Um, looks like they have some of the Shredder pop and tea combos, of course. Selena on motorcycle. Art series are all down there. Those are all art series. This big cart thing is in my way. Um, they do have one of the Lucario 10 inches. Some of the Evil Lens, which I'm glad we picked that up at the last Target. Um, let's see, Scarlet Witch, Pop, Pin, Chili there. Looks like they had some mystery minis right here. Um, hmm, I wonder if there's anything in here that's new. Marvel, Pop Animation, Samurai Jack. Uh, da, 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 no guys, I mean nothing nothing really crazy new at all. So really sucks. Oh, is this Becky Two Belts? Oh cool, there's a Becky Two Belts. I might pick that up actually, because uh, I do like Becky. There is a uh, Jim Halpert, so I wonder if there was a chase here at some point. Um, hmm. They usually don't have Jim Halpert's. Here's a two-pack of the uh, Proud Family. Some Harry Potters. There's the Flocked He-Man on Battle Cat. Box isn't the greatest. But there's that guy again. There's the Joker Pop Pen, which I thought was really, really a cool pen. Don't know if that one has a chase variant or not. There's another Joker pin and Scarlet. And oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of Joker pins. Look at that, just a crap ton back there. Okay, well, not too bad at this Target, but not the best. Picked up the Becky Lynch two belts. She's really, really cool. I like her little fishnet stockings and her holding them both the uh, SmackDown and Raw women's uh, championship belt, almost a tag team belt. It's not a tag team belt, but there's the uh, other ones in the line there, so pretty cool. I'm glad to pick it up because it's a Target Con 2022, and eventually over time, these will be harder and harder to find. So, good pickup today here at Target. Target, Target, Target. Well, not much of anything. I was looking through trying to see if they had some chases or anything, but it doesn't look like it. They do have a bunch of the Becky Two belts, so. I could have picked that up here as well. Let's see, got some Batmans, we got some NBA Magic Johnsons in the group here. Looks like there is a Eddie Van Halen. Every one of these that I find is in terrible condition. This one's not too bad, but not the best either. I do have one of the Bruce Waynes only at Target. Do not have that yet. So I'm just looking through, trying to see Lots of art series, lots and lots of art series. Um, they have the Skeletor Evelyn pack, pack and tea. Oh look, they have one of the Black Luster Soldiers from Yukigo, Yujigo. I don't know if that's gonna be very popular. A bunch of the flocked battle cats and Skeletors. Some Harry Potters. Um, some of the Madame Web and a bunch of pop pins for sure, but nothing really super exciting. So I just want to show off guys at this Target over here, it's on a 27th Avenue in the 101. They still have one of these uh, 12 inch statue of from the Batman. It's not the red one or the gold one, but they do have the common in stock. And then up here, they have just a bunch of other, all these uh, hazmat suits, which I saw on Facebook. Everyone keeps looking for them. They have a hard time finding them. Well, they're everywhere here in Phoenix, it seems like. I was gonna pick this Eddie Van Halen up for sure, but then I found this little tear right there. So I'm just gonna keep waiting. It's a common, it won't be that hard to find, but I need to get it soon before they end up off the shelves because rock pops seem to disappear and then they get vaulted and then they're hard to find. But 
I'm gonna take the risk and put this back and hopefully I can find a nicer box somewhere else. All right, you guys, I'm heading into Walmart to finish out the video. And you know I have to stop here. Check these out, guys. They have some of these newer ones that are out on sale. You can put together and build the horse, which I guess people need a horse. There's some big old pieces there with uh, Robin from The Dark Knight Returns. They do have the Joker one, the Superman one with the horse. They also have Catwoman from the Batman. They do have Superboy, hang that back up. Riddler there. Looks like they got rid of the uh, big statue one. Um, I do need the uh, uh, Death Metal Wonder Woman. Sorry, toy. I do need the Death Metal Wonder Woman, so I'm kinda looking for that one still. They have it on Amazon, so I can pick it up at any time. I just haven't. I just need that one because it has the last pieces I need for my Batman uh, put together. BAF, they call them. BAF. So I don't know. Build a figure. Build a figure. That's what it is. Kind of like these. You get them all together and then you can build a figure. Do you know that some of these are chases? I don't know if it's High Priestess or Ashi. I think it's this guy. I think the Guardian maybe has a chase. People have been seeing, well, I've seen a post where someone had found one in the store and it didn't have a chase sticker and it was just sitting on the shelf because of course, no chase sticker. No one wants to pick it up. Ooh, Supreme Leader Snoot. That thing is destroyed. They do have some of the US Army soldiers. They still have some Bray Wyatt's in stock. Boys to Men back there. And there's this the other one. Yep, there's the other one, Wayne. Wayne-ya, Wayne-ya, wayne, -ya. wayne, -ya, wayne -ya. There's High Priestess again. Um, I'm wondering if there's any of those, you know, chases in here. Probably not. Not at my store. There's another Samurai Jack. And some Yora Floor States. There's a bunch of these 10 inches. They have them stacked like too deep. Let's see if there's anything back behind there. A bunch more trap jaws. Look like there's a Mikey back there, possibly. And then here on the bottom shelf, there's some Ghostbusters Afterlife, some more Boys to Men, and. DC Future States. They have some more TLCs. They have some of these Eternals from Walmart. Um, some of the Hamilton series. Let's see, there's Alexander. They do have a call, Oswald Cobblepot, but probably no chases in the bunch. Some Fire Force stuff. What's this one? More Fire Force. Iris again. All right, well, nothing new or exciting that I'm seeing. None of the albums. There is a 10 inch LeBron James down there. The Batmobile. They do have the Ector one with Trevor and Wonder Woman on Pegasus, which I need to pick up one of these days. I do need to get that. And way back there in the back, they have She-Ra on Swiftwind. They do have some of these handmade by robots, Batman, which is pretty cool. They have Melissa Fent, Harley Quinn, Ralphie from A Christmas Story. Um, but yeah, they got quite a few of these at Walmart. I met a guy at work who was said that he collects these and he's been collecting them for years. So pretty interesting. Another collectible out there in the market. I went out of Walmart and I did go ahead and pick up the Wonder Woman on Pegasus. It's really, really bright out here. So it's hard for me to see my phone. Hopefully you guys can see that all okay. Um, I will spin it on the spinner, of course, too. I'm sure there's shadows and all kinds of stuff going on. But here is what's on the back, the whole line here. This Wonder Woman 80th anniversary line. We are really digging and we are getting a lot of these. Trying to complete the line per se. Not really everything, just all the different variants of the figures themselves. Don't really need every variant. But uh, yeah, uh, the box is, you know, the box is a deluxe box. They're always kind of screwed up in some shape or form. But it has been the best box, honestly, that I've seen. And since I got it at Walmart, it was a lot cheaper than normal. So that is good. And that's it. We'll see you next time on Phoenix Poptastic. Thank you to all of our Patreons. Everyone here on the screen are great. Thank you guys so much. There's now three tiers for you to support the channel. A $3 tier, a $10 tier, and a $25 tier. Join oh, today. So crazy, Do it. You know you want to. Click, click, click. Do it. You know you want to. Click, click, click. Do it. You know you want to.